before I go into it, that this is about life. It's a celebration of life and the little moments that we tend to take for granted. Um, I'll never learn Swahili or see the Eiffel Tower. I'll never write a book, draw a self-portrait. I'll never complete my master's degree or become a member of the NAACP. I'll never again hug my grandmother or tell my mother I love her. I've never even read the whole Bible in its entirety. But the last thing I heard was a click. So this morning, well, yesterday morning at this point, I woke up, had my normal breakfast, you know, coffee and a cigarette, um, attempted to shake off the hangover from last night, per usual, made my way to work late, didn't want to look my boss in the eye because I guess I felt guilty. At lunch, I eyeballed Gina. Can't stand Gina. She's sleeping with the boss. He married so she can get away with anything. I can't. I just fall back, sit in the corner, read my, bed, my book, mind my business. In fact, I pride myself on how many books I've read, the number of books on my shelf at home, but there's one that I haven't finished. My grandmother gave me that book when I was little. She told me it has the answers for everything. How is that possible? I don't know. It's, I tried to read it, but it's too long. It's intimidating. There's some things I can't understand. Even though there's a few parts I do remember, like tomorrow's not promised or something like that, but whatever. The last thing I heard was a click. Anyway, I got home too lazy to cook, so ramen and wine. <laughs> I took a bath, listening to jazz, because I'm cool like that. <laughs> um, did some more reading. My brother called, but I don't even feel like arguing tonight, so I'll call him back maybe later. I don't know. Anyway, I crawled into bed thinking about all the things I had to do tomorrow. Not tomorrow. It's today now. Okay. Pay the light bill. Call my brother back, maybe. Get to work on time. Take out the trash. Who's that? Okay. Probably just the neighbors downstairs. Anyway, change the battery in the smoke detector. <laughs> There's a sudden deep pressure on the side of my bed. Am I dreaming? My eyes open and see a dark figure looking down at me. He hits me and I, lock, I knock out. The last thing I heard was a click. I awake to darkness. He has me blindfolded. I can sense the air. It's kind of foggy. I think it's early morning. He's dragging me somewhere like a forest. I can feel the slightly damp leaves beneath me. My hands and mouth are taped. I don't know what to do. I don't want to die. I'm definitely not ready. I never finished that book. I hear a still small voice coming from deep within me. It whispers, the Lord is my shepherd and my refuge. I question the voice. So are you getting me out of this? The voice asks, do you love me? No. Of course I do. All things work together according to my plan. So that means you'll rescue me, right? The man drags me up a few stairs. I hear a door creak open and slam behind us. It's probably the living room because I can feel the carpet. Um, I feel slick, cold tile beneath me now. I think we're in the kitchen. No, probably the bathroom. The man pushes me and my head hits the wall behind me. I try to scream, but it comes like a hum. I pass out. I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming. In the darkness of my mind, a light finds me. God, I will finish reading your book. Please forgive me for anything I've done, said, or thought that wasn't pleasing to you. Lord, just say it. Do you love me? Yes. Do you believe my son Jesus Christ died on the cross, Amen. rose for your, sin, uh, for your sins, and rose on the third day? Yes, God, I believe that then you're saved. What? Just know, all things 
work together for the good for those who are called according to my purpose. Yeah. My child, I have a purpose for you. But today you're going to make a choice. You can choose to live knowing your death will be in vain and only you will be saved. Or you can take my hand knowing your death will cause many to be found. You're lost. You'll be found. The girl at work, Gina, she'll forego her sins. Come on. The man who's doing this to you will be caught and in prison he'll be saved. Your family, they will grieve their loss, turn to me, and thousands will be saved based off of this moment. Tears flow from my eyes. They open and burn as I regain consciousness. I'll never learn Swahili or see the Eiffel Tower. Come on. I'll never write a book or draw a self-portrait, complete my master's degree, to become a member of the NAACP. Wow. I'll never again hug my grandmothers or tell my mother I love her. And I still never finished his book. But, dear God, I pray that my life and death be used as a vessel to bring more souls to you. I recognize your glory, and I surrender to your will in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 He reminds me, Proverbs 27, 1 says, do not boast about tomorrow because you don't know what it will bring. I hear the door open and the man's footsteps as he approaches me. He puts a gun to my head. The metal is cold. And the last thing I heard was a click. Jesus.